Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So today I'm going to show you how to use the Ingenuity software for the HyperX Pulsefire Pro gaming mouse. So I've already installed it and I've started it up. So it looks a little bit awkward. And now, because this, this does something that I've never seen done before or in any other driver software before, when you start it up, it shows you what every single button is. That way you don't have to guess what it is. So here we can see we're on the default profile, then it's showing you how to save those, drag them over to the library or copy from the keyboard. So pretty cool. And then over here to apply those. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new profile. Okay, and then we can select an icon. We'll just select, um, We'll select this one just because. Save, okay. And then now we're gonna link that to an application. So this is building up to ways to use the software. So for example, I'm going to link it up to, we'll link it to Bandicam, but I'm gonna make a shortcut on my desktop. And then we'll go ahead and go to that shortcut. Okay, so now, that's linked to Bandicam, okay? <clears throat> and that has the cycling profile right now. Okay, so now we'll go to, we'll go ahead and save that. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and click customize. So now we'll come over here, we'll select solid, we'll select this red color. Okay, because I clicked on it, because this is the color in the palette right now, it went over to it, but let's say I go to red and now i click here now that's going to change that profile to red okay so now i go over to performance now here i can select the dpi i want the mouse to go up to so we'll go ahead and bump it up all the way over here okay so that's blue okay so we just bumped it all all the way up to 1600 or 16,000, sorry, which of course is the maximum that this mouse will go to, which is an extremely high DPI. Okay, so just remember the profile is red, the DPI is blue. Okay, and now we'll go to macro. Okay, and then something that really confuses a lot of people is how to create a macro. So this goes over step by step on how to create that macro. So at the very top, it shows the active profile that you're currently customizing. It's in red. Right below that, we can click on any of the standard keys to assign a different function. And then right below that, toggle here to switch between right-handed and left-handed configuration. This was a part that actually confused me while I was using it. And then over here, we can select the different mouse assignments. We'll do a recorded macro, okay? So we'll go to macro library and then we'll do macro one name. We'll keep it macro one. Now we're going to give this a, let's say 10 millisecond or 19 millisecond delay. And now we're going to record and then I'll click on the background and then I'll press start notepad. Then I'll just type anything here and then I'll hit alt F4. And okay, and then after doing that, I'll come over here and click stop. Okay, and then at this point, I go to key assignment, I click on the back key, and then we'll go to from the drop down, we'll select recorded macro, and then we'll select the macro name. We named it macro one, and then we'll only do play once. So at this point, now if you had a different color here when you click save and then you click apply it's going to go ahead and reset that color because that's the color of the profile so now when i click the back button okay you just saw the entire thing i did and mind you It'll be the same for a game. It'll be the same for anything. Okay, so then we'll go back to profile. OK, 
Okay, so now we'll just create a new profile and then browse and then we'll give it this one and well, that's good enough. So then we'll save that and then we'll say we'll click to link an application. Okay, then we'll go to the brother printer control center and I'm going to go ahead and dump this on the send to on the desktop and now we'll come over here to the desktop and we'll select this guy here okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and save that okay so we remember that the previous profile was set to red okay so we'll click customize here and now we'll change it from red, we'll change it to breathing. Okay, and it's going to go from a spectrum. Then we'll change this color to green. And then this color to, uh, let's do purple. Oops. Purple, okay. So we have, it's gonna go between red, green, and purple, and then of course, everything between that. So now we'll go to performance, and we'll go ahead and throw this down to, that's 8350, very weird number there. And uh, since we've already done the Mac, uh, you know what, we'll go ahead and do it, because why not? So we'll go to macro library, and now let's record, let's name this one, Iggy one, okay. Whoops. All right, let me name this one Iggy one. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and record. We'll click in the background, start. Uh, let's do edge and open that up, okay. And then after that opens up, we'll give it a few seconds. Everything's loaded. Then we'll do an Alt F4 and then we'll hit enter and they've all closed. We're done with that macro. We gave that one again a 19 millisecond delay. So now let's go ahead, assign that key. Let's assign it to the forward button. Um, recorded macro, Piggy one play once and then apply that okay now you see that just changed it just changed because now it's going for how we have that profile set up so for example I'm gonna go to profile 2 and I'm gonna click apply on that one I want profile 2 now okay and let's say you know the brother control suite was a game when i start that up watch this right over here okay that just changed and now you see how it's changing colors okay so you see how me activating that program changed the profile and then with that so i'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and move all of this out of the way and then now, now I'm going to click the forward button. button. Hey, remember we set up a macro. It's a Chrome. Now, nah, you know what? I think we should use edge. It opens up edge. Then it waits a few seconds. And, eh, forget it. We're going to go ahead and close it. Okay. And well, there wasn't a prompt there, but you know, we can actually you know what, since now Edge has been opened, and we know that the, that, I'll go ahead and close this out. We know that Edge is no longer going to show two screens, which of course it could. I'll close that out. So now I click Customize, and I'll go to Macros. I'll go to Macro Library. I have Iggy selected. Now, if I wanted to, I can come over here, so I see here, I hit F4 and that's when I released it. Okay, and then I hit enter and enter. 
But at that point, I don't need this one anymore. I don't need that one anymore. And then I could just apply it. All right, so that saved it. And then you see, I can go in and I can insert more macros or more keystrokes or more however I like. I can insert more or I can remove more. So it could be a growing macro, you know, maybe for games and such that, you know, they did an update and there's one or two new clicks in there. Or you can just create a totally new one, uh, delete the previous one and start from scratch. But again, with this guy over here, you know, if you don't know something, just click on the question mark. No matter what screen you're on, it's going to show you, oh, that's what I do here. So I've never seen that before. Um, over here, click on the gear. We can select our language. We can change our language. And then over here, I can select the manual I want. So I want it for the Pulsefire FPS Pro. I click that. Now it goes out to the web and it finds me the manual just in case I don't know where it is. Okay, I'll just close that out. Over here, I can check for updates. Who knows, there might be an update right now that I missed. All right, your software is up to date, no update needed. Click OK, click on the gear again. And then if I don't like all these profiles, if my brother, my sister, my mom, my dad, my grandfather, my uncle, my cousin, my grandmother, my aunt, whoever came in here messed everything up. And you know what? I want to start from scratch. We set the default settings. Yes. This is going to wipe everything out of here. So careful when you do it, but it's going to wipe everything. It's going to reset all these profiles that we've created and it's back to square one. Okay. So that's about it. So again, this is Iggy showing you guys how to use the HyperX Ingenuity software for the HyperX Pulsefire FPS Pro gaming mouse. Iggy out. See you guys.